Get it. Hey, baby team, Ruthless back in the house. We got business advice. Woo! We in here. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good shit. Especially comment. Yeah, I'm tired of you people sitting here watching these videos and never saying nothing. Like, how do we get 50 views? I mean, uh, and three comments. Let, <laughs> let, let them. It's supposed to be 47 more life. comments. Let them live their best life as long as they keep watching. No, yeah. fuck that. I want comments, bro. Yeah. You asking like, for the love world. opinions? Stop being so I want comments, bro. My hair is nappy. Okay, as well. so so they can just write "fuck you, niggas" and then leave. I will reply and I will like you know it. What? <laughs> like, hate, hate is great publicity. So as so long as they naked. say something, I'll take it. <laughs> but in regardless, though, how was everybody's week? You know, how have you? How's things been since last time? Uh, my week's been chill, bro. Like I'm back at fucking. I'm not gonna say the name of my old job though. Um, chill at new position, fucking easier work, less fucking labor, but uh, good shit. I'm back on a normal schedule now, Monday through Friday, mm, weekends nice. off. Nice. OT coming in, not crazy, but enough to get, you know, some extra cash in the pocket. Chilling, chilling. Oh me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. put you on the spot, dude. I'm. Oh, you know what I've been doing? Not to cut you off. I don't have a name for this shit yet, but I'm going through a bunch of classic RPG. Well, most of them are classic. I might throw some, like Deuce X is an RPG, right? Yeah. I might throw that shit in there too, but I'm running through a bunch this year, all 2019. I think I'm about halfway done with Wild Arms, and then I'm thinking I'm hopping on Tales of Abyss next. So join my fucking stream. We on there. Even though I don't have a schedule, but I'll be on there. Follow me. <laughs> All right, back to Vice. <laughs> well, my life is boring because I, I got to start this warehouse job working overnights. Dude, I'm fucking tired. I bet, bro. Yo, this, the, wor the worst thing is just like knowing you're not going to have a normal sleep schedule anymore. Mm -hmm. So you just work, you work like when the sun's, sun is down and the sun comes up and you're trying to go to sleep and just like. Just it, ugh. and my body hurts. Everything hurts. Just all that lifting, all that walking, just takes its toll. <laughs> takes its toll. I wish I. Ugh. Ugh. Waking up from like old man, just uh, Dude, my hip, uh, <laughs> my other hip. <laughs> <laughs> and that kind of relates to me since I started a new warehouse job. But this time it's in the mornings, so now I got some more time to help edit, do some video clips with my boy here. So we can provide some more quality content, you know. So expect quality. to see more. Yes, quality, <laughs> quality. It's what we need, all right. You know, so everything's gonna be up. You know, production, everything. You'll see us in four K. I need some 8K. quality time don't, with this hair, bro. This hair is fucking crazy. No, no. under promise and over. No deliver. under promise because it's going to happen. When, when we say it's going to happen, it's happening because we're ruthless with it. All right. That's why we ruthless, baby. Team ruthless. Let's get it. I'm sorry. So hopefully the, next time y'all see me, this shit is fucking. Shaped up, cause your boy looking kind of rough. Oh, right I already now, know, man. Yeah. You see this right here? Yeah, <laughs> I got the hoodie on. It's not even combed. <laughs> <laughs> I have that on for a reason. Hey, I need to start wearing fitties. I'm right. live. All right, yo. Topic for the today though is fucking bet or I won't say best, but you know, music collabs, two artists collabing that you want to see this year. So like examples. There's been a lot of Post Malone and Sway Lee yeah. uh, collabs, I think, and I think they sound really good. Uh, just give me some, like, what do you want? Like, who do you think that you've heard this year or last year, mostly, more recent, um, that you heard, but people you heard together that sound really good together and you think match very well? Like, if you want, like, an album from them or you just want them to do more music together, like, um, Vice Go First. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, the one I'm going to say, they've been hinting at it since 2009, 2010. They did a couple tracks together, and they want to make it, I think they wanted to make it EP. Childish Gambino and Chance the Rapper. Oh, I knew you were going to oh, say man. that. Yep. Yep. Oh, they, boy. Dude. Like, of course, there's, there's styles mesh well, because you know worst guys off of Childish Gambino's um, was because of the internet. And then favorite song with Chance the Rapper, yo, oh my God, they just sound, they are great together. Styles mesh. I want them to get make the whole EP because they said, or Gambino said he wants to make a whole EP, and 
I, Chance, I guess he wants to make one too. Is they just got to get together and do it. Yeah, yeah. And everybody, oh, they, and Chance was hot last year. Gambino was hot last year. Gambino's so, still hot. I don't even yeah. think he dropped mm-hmm. anything. Yeah. Year. <laughs> yeah, Bino just dropped two two tracks uh, in the summertime. Yeah, yeah, yeah the summertime. Just magic, the yeah. real quick. Yeah, he just flexed. Appetizer. Just to take that down. Make course <laughs> next year. That's just, man. And then Chance dropped. They still play Redbone, fucking Chance like dropped like That's three always tracks true. last year, and that was it. And I haven't heard the, them. I haven't heard much from yeah, him at all. I need security. I'm going to play that for you off air. Nah, it's funny. I've been sleeping on Chance. I haven't really been looking for any Chance. I haven't heard anything anyway. It's like, I, heard, I don't know. I don't even want any Chance right now. Like, before fucking Coloring Book was uh came out, I was like fiending for it. Now, I don't know why. I'm just not literally... Like looking for him right now. Color like, book was be- Ooh, it was a good what? album. I'm just saying it's not. Know. It's probably not as good as um acid rap. Cause oh hell no. Acid rap was just like next level, but hell no. But it was still good. Color book was really good. Yeah, no, I liked it. Yeah, I just I don't know for some reason. And like also, it. it's gonna make Bino rap again. Yeah, uh, that's you, that's why you know Bino can rap. He, and what's it? Um, fe- uh, awaken thy love. Or that? Awaken my love. Yeah, th- it's just it was a. R&B soulful yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't him rapping. I want him to get back into rapping like he did with Camp and and Cold I think that. he done with rapping, bro. He better not be. I'll be. I think he's gonna keep. Which I kind of like about him, you know. But I think he's gonna keep switching it up on us and like fucking going to do different ranges of music and and which I, I like because summertime magic and that that fucking two. Uh, two songs were really good, and um, Redbone's really good, and uh, yeah. I like that he's switching it up. I do want to get, I want to get royalty, Gambino oh, oh. more tracks, but whatever. Yeah, that was, that was a mixtape. That was. That's my favorite, I do that's like, my favorite one. Probably. I do like that he's switching it up and he's doing it like well, like it sounds really good. Like he's not even saying too much in these fucking songs, but it just sounds good to the ears. Yeah, like, so, it's like the nice melody. That's I don't know. I don't know if I want. Because I used to want that. If you would have asked me like six months ago, I'm like, yeah, Chance, Chance and uh, Childish Gambino, definitely. But I don't know. I don't now that Gambino's kind of been on his new wave. Like I don't know if I want Chance to be on that right now. I don't know. I don't know what I want from Chance either. So maybe that's it. All right. So what? So what? So what's the two you want? My two I'm going right now. I got a couple to be honest. Um, and I I think it's that's why I brought the topic up because I've been, it's been. I feel like it's been happening a lot more where, like, two people are getting together and it's, like, they sound better together than with their own, like, crew or by themselves. And, um, two, one of them, the first two is the fucking J-Rock and Kendrick. Yeah. They've been fucking killing it. I think they need to just do a whole project together. TDE. Nah, I, bring a whole TDE. They do, they do need to do a TDE album, too, but they need to do, I think J-Rock and Kendrick can probably fucking kill... An album if they did that shit together. I think they've been rocking out. Uh, plus, I've always been a big fan of J Rock, so if that helps, if him doing a, a collab with uh, Kendrick help him get, even though he won a, won a Grammy this year, but help him get more fucking noise out there, man. I'm down for it. Getting more of the casuals on him. Yeah, yeah, and then and even though I'm not the biggest fan of Post Malone, him and fucking Sway Lee, like. Sunflower, I've been listening to since that that fucking movie drop. Yeah, and that track is fire. they sound really good together. That track is fire. And I think they need. I know they have like two, two or three songs together, but they need to. I think they could do a, a fire fucking collab album. Well, I, I, just I feel weird about Sway Lee doing a whole album with somebody else. For both? Yeah, uh, no, with somebody else. Like entirely, yeah, yeah. Like that, that seemed a little weird because, like, you you gotta have, you know, Ray Schwimmer together, yeah, if, to do a whole album if it's just a couple tracks here and there. Uh, I think Slim Jimmy should step out a little bit too, though. I think he sounds he sounds really good with um, Juicy J. I think. I yeah, think he sounds that, really good with Juicy J. Kind of hype rap stuff. Like I think them yeah. two could probably do like a little joint project, and it, I think it could be pretty nasty. Like, or they could have a Ray Sharma album where they put Juicy J and 
post Malone. I think that's too much. I think that's too much. I think it's like too much. The post, the post a post way combo. They could be just like seven do you, tracks. Do you remember like um, Outkast album? Uh, was it? I think it was. Was it Out a While? No, no. It was a love. Speak of Box and a Love Down Below. Mm-hmm. Where they it was basically two separate albums together. They just they gave you two discs and those two separate albums. One was mostly um, Andre and one was mostly yeah. Ray Shrem did did that. Yeah, they but they can that do well, that yeah, it wasn't with great. what you're saying. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I I could see that. That makes more sense. Yeah, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. I just want more music from them both. Like it don't even have to be a, a whole project, but you know, a couple more songs this year that'd be nice. Uh, Crash your mom. Crash in my place, baby. You're a wreck. Ooh, yo, me and my girl been singing that fucking like almost nonstop. She wanna ride me like a cruise. <laughs> you're my sunflower. <laughs> oh no, you're man. sunflower. You gotta right, trash. Right, All right, so I actually had multiple choices. I had ASAP Rocky, Tyler the Creator. Oh yes, there was that because they had yes, yes that was yes, in that. No, yes, I am totally in for that. That's a track I'm gonna play for you after this. I'm gonna let one? you hear it. Which one is it? I'm gonna let you know. You you'll know it because you're gonna be like, what? As soon as I hear Tyler, it's, though, it's who no that boy? Tyler went in. Who him is? But Tyler went in on this. No, but I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna play that later though. I'm gonna leave that alone. I thought about was it. Was that the song? That he was just saying? Probably. Oh, yeah, that wasn't No, I'm gonna let you hear it. This, this more, tiger. One. One. I thought about tiger. You know what crazy combo? A tiger blue face combo? And nah, that would be crazy, but my my combo actually, for some reason, is Offset and 21 Savage. Because one. I, I might, man. I don't know. 21 Savage is gonna be, gonna be doing too much. <laughs> <laughs> he's yeah. out right now. He's he gonna drop the album, you know, speaking in British slang, you know what I mean? Oh, Shoot. Isn't it? God. <laughs> Yo, how y'all, real quick, how y'all feel about that shit? It's funny. It's unfortunate. It's funny. It's funny. It's it's unfortunate. Just funny. I just think it's weird, bro. I, I mean, nobody, it's, he probably wouldn't have been as big as I just want, like, my, my main thing is, like, how fake is 21 Savage? He's not, because he represents, he was really raised in Atlanta. Okay. So he, it's like, wait, was, there's people that are born places, but raised in other places, so they inhabit more of the place they're raised than where they're born from. So since he's he's more Atlanta than UK because he was really Wait, abroad. Okay, so uh, he was born thing. in UK and then raised. Yeah, in yeah. Okay. I think he said they said he came. So he must have came down here like in sixth grade. Like six, he's like seven. I thought he's like seven years old. Oh, I think I heard sixth grade. Maybe, maybe, it, was. maybe it was six years old. Yeah. So I don't know, but I don't got the facts. But I don't know. I one thing that's weird though, they got Twenty One Savage saying he's a fucking. His dad is a crackhead. Which I guess was possible, or was, or is a crackhead. And then Breakfast Club said his dad actually works at their headquarters or whatever. So, like, is he really a crackhead? Mm. So, like, that... And I, at first, the ice, I was like, yo, that sucks, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, when they said that, I was like, so... How real is this 21 Savage character? Like, I'm saying, was it created for us? Yeah, you know? like, But then again, that's like... And I kind of, if, if it's as fake... If it's really, really fake, to me that kind of ruins it because he says Zone Six in every fucking song. But I don't know. I fuck with Twenty Savage music though. So yeah, the new album is I hope he keep good. making music he, he regardless. <laughs> um, with the stuff he has going on and the stuff Offset went through, and Offset really has improved through the years. Him and Twenty One, they actually dropped that without warning project. Was it like a year or two ago? That collab album, even though Metro Boomin produced all of it. Was underrated and was fire. I enjoyed it. I feel like if they hop back together and connect it, even if a Metro and other producers, they'll drop something nice. So I know it's a little different, but you know they've done it before. But I think they should try it again because it was a mix that we never would have expected, but actually worked out pretty well. So I have to go with that. One. Your opinion, bro. Yeah. 21, 21, 21. Gang, gang. I do like 21 and Post together, too. Like, they have pretty good songs. Oh, yeah. yeah. I put you on that with my friends. He was like, he was like play that again. Is that weird? Like, play yeah, that, that shit again. hot, bro. Like, All my friends shit is hot. So, yeah, I, they could probably do a joint little album or a couple more songs, and I'd probably be happy with that shit. Mm-hmm. Um, I think Tyga and fucking Ty Dolla Sign would be a good hit. Good match or whatever. You know, Ty Dolla Sign is pretty beast. So I think Ty Dolla Sign would work with almost anybody. Yeah, he's pretty. He's just, uh, he, he, yeah, yeah, he's like the per. He has a perfect voice to go with almost every track. He's the perfect feature man, man. <laughs> oh yeah, 
<laughs> oh, don't do that again. <laughs> <laughs> if I try, I can make it sound sexy. Okay? Oh, yeah, no. so like I would love Ty Dolla Sign or like Frank Ocean. That'd be beast. Ah, I've heard from him in a minute. Frank, because Frank Ocean loves to be quiet with all this stuff, man. And just boy, low key. I want a Jaden Smith and Kid Cudi album, bro. I I'd kill for another Kid Cudi album, but not. Wait, nah, I was just kidding with Jaden. I I want to say this about Jaden, even though it's kind of off topic. When I the idea of him at first, I didn't like, and so most of his music I didn't like. But he's starting to grow on me, and I started to like him more and more. And I respect uh, some of his music. Why are you laughing? I cannot believe you said that. Yo, some of this shit is hot, bro. The Goku Dude, shit. They're still gonna be rapping Batman, Batman, Batman. Batman shit's all right. The Goku shit's all right. Fucking. The song on the Spider-Man album is pretty dope. Mm-hmm. Uh, he has a song called Soho. It's pretty dope. Uh, he has a couple songs that I, I really vibe with. I fucks with him. He's not like my favorite artist and I don't go looking for him, but I fucks with him. True. Mm-hmm. True. So does that wrap this up? Wrap it up, baby. Right. Like, subscribe, tell us your favorite collab or two artists you want to collab. And we out. Are you really rocking in slow motion? <laughs> <laughs>